If we say we have no sin, we deceive ourselves and the truth is not in us. But if we confess our sins, God, who is faithful and just, will forgive our sins and cleanse us from all unrighteousness. Dearly beloved, we have come together in the presence of Almighty God, our Heavenly Father, to set forth his praise, to hear his holy word ask for ourselves and on behalf of others those things that are necessary for our life and our salvation so that we may prepare ourselves in heart and mind to worship him let us kneel in silence and with penitent and obedient hearts confess our sins that we may obtain forgiveness by his infinite goodness and mercy Most merciful God, we confess our sins and sins to you, not worthy of thee, not worthy of none, not worthy of none, 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 none. We have not loved you with our whole heart. We have not loved you with our ears ourselves. We are true of sorrow and have not been repent. For the sake of your Son, Jesus Christ, have mercy on us and forgive us, that we may delight in the world and walk in your ways. Glory to your name. Amen. Almighty God, in mercy, I do forgive you all your sins through our Lord Jesus Christ, strengthen you in all goodness, and by the power of the Holy Spirit, keep you in eternal life. Amen. Lord, open our lips. And our mouths shall proclaim your praise. Glory to the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit, as it was in the beginning, is now, and will be forever. Amen. The Lord is full of compassion and mercy. Come, let us adore him. Be joyful in the Lord, all, all you lands. Serve the Lord with gladness, and come to the Lord's presence with song. Glory to us, the Lord himself is God. He is our salvation, and we are his. We are his people, and the sheep of his pasture. He gives his gifts of thanksgiving. Glory to his cross with praise. Give thanks to him for all of his name. For the Lord is good, and his mercy is everlasting, and his faithfulness endures from age to age. Psalm 97 The Lord is king, let the earth rejoice. Let the multitude of the isles be glad. Cloud and darkness are round about him. Righteousness and justice are the foundations of his love. The fire goes before him. He burns up his enemies on the inside. His lightnings light up the world. The earth sees him in his way. The mountains melt like wax at the presence of the Lord. In the presence of the Lord, the whole earth. Heavens declare his righteousness, and all the people see his glory. The fountain of the altar worships carved images, the light of false gods. God ran before him all his gods. Zion appears with his light, and his sins are secured to the rewards. Because of your judgment, O Lord, you are the Lord, most high over all the earth. You are exalted far above all gods. The Lord loves those who hate evil. He preserves the lives of the saints and delivers them from the hand of the wicked. The eye of smile of the righteous and show the gladness of those who are true hearted. Rejoice in the Lord of the righteous and give thanks to his holy name. Psalm 99. The Lord is king. Let the people tremble. He is enthroned upon the cherubim. Let the earth shake. The Lord is great as I am. He is high above all peoples. Let them confess his name and his great and awesome. He is the Holy One, Almighty King, Father of justice. You have established equity. You have executed justice and righteousness in Jacob. Proclaim the greatness of the Lord our God, who 
fall down before his footstool. He is the Holy One. Moses and Aaron among his priests, and Samuel among those who call upon his name. He called upon the Lord and he answered them. He spoke to them out of the power of the cloud. They kept his testimonies and the decrees that he gave them. The Lord our God, who answered them to me, you were a God who forgave Abraham, you have punished them for their evil deeds. Proclaim the greatness of the Lord our God, and worship him upon this holy hill. For the Lord our God is the Holy One. Glory to the Father, to the Son, to the Holy Spirit, as it was in the beginning, is now, and will be forever. Amen. A reading from the book of Jeremiah, the 17th chapter. Thus says the Lord to me, Go and stand in the people's gate, by which the kings of Judah enter and by which they go out, and in all the gates of Jerusalem, and say to them, Hear the word of the Lord, you kings of Judah, and all Judah, and all the inhabitants of Jerusalem who enter by these gates. Thus says the Lord, for the sake of your lives, take care that you do not bear a burden on the Sabbath day, or bring it in by the gates of Jerusalem, and do not carry a burden out of your houses on the Sabbath, or do any work, but keep the Sabbath day holy, as I commanded your ancestors. Yet they did not listen or incline their ear, they stiffened their necks and would not hear or receive instruction. But if you listen to me, says the Lord, and bring in no burden by the gates of this city on the Sabbath day, but keep the Sabbath day holy and do not work on it, then there sh shall enter by the gates of this city kings who sit on the throne of David, riding in chariots and on horses. They and their officials, the people of Judah and the inhabitants of Jerusalem, and this city shall be inhabited forever. And people shall come from the towns of Judah and the places around Jerusalem, from the land of Benjamin, from the Shephelah and the hill country, and from the Negev, bringing burnt offerings and sacrifices, grain offerings and frankincense, and bringing thanks offering to the house of the Lord. But if you do not listen to me to keep you the Sabbath day holy and to carry in no burden through the gates of Jerusalem on the Sabbath day, then I will kindle a fire in its gates. It shall devour the palaces of Jerusalem and shall not be quenched. The word of the Lord. Thanks be to God. Canticle 13. Glory to you, Lord God of our fathers. You are worthy of praise. Glory to you. Glory to you, we praise in your holy name. We will praise you and highly exalt you forever. Glory to you in the splendor of your temple, on the throne of your majesty. Glory to you. Glory to you, seated between the cherubim. We will praise you and highly exalt you forever. Glory to you who is over the depths and the high vault of heaven and glory to you. Glory to you, Father, Son, and Holy Spirit. We will praise you and highly exalt you forever. A reading from the Gospel according to John, chapter 6. When Jesus realized that they were about to come and take him by force to make him king, he withdrew again to the mountain by himself. When evening came, his disciples went down to the sea, got into the boat, and started across the sea to Capernaum. 
it was now dark and Jesus had not yet come to them. The sea became rough because of a strong wind was blowing. Then they had rowed about three or four miles. They saw Jesus walking on the sea and coming near the boat and they were terrified. And they, he said to them, it is I, do not be afraid. Then they wanted to take him into the boat and immediately the boat reached the land towards which they were going. The next day, the crowd that had stayed on the other side of the sea saw that there had been only one boat there. They also saw that Jesus had not got into the boat with his disciples, but that his disciples had gone away alone. Then some boats from Tiberias came near the place where they had eaten the bread after the Lord had given thanks. So when the crowd saw that neither Jesus nor his disciples were there, they themselves got into the boats and went to Capernaum looking for Jesus. When they found him on the other side of the sea, they said to him, Rabbi, when did you come here? Jesus answered them, Very truly I tell you, you are looking for me not because you saw signs, but because you ate your fill of the loaves. Do not work for the food that perishes, but for the food that endures for eternal life, which the Son of Man will give you. For it is on him that God the Father has set his seal. The word of the Lord. Eighteen, splendor, honor, and kingdom power are yours, our life, O Lord our God. For you created the heavens and the earth. By your will they were created and have their being. And you lose by life, O Lamb, and will sing. For with your blood you have redeemed from God, from every family, language, people, and nation, the kingdom of priests to serve our God. And so the king sits upon the throne, and the Christ of Lamb, be worshipped with praise, and the kingdom of splendor, forever and forevermore. I believe in God, Father Almighty, creator of heaven and earth. I believe in Jesus Christ, the only Son of our Lord. He was conceived by the power of the Holy Spirit, born of the Virgin Mary. He suffered under Pontius Pilate. He was crucified, died, and was buried. He descended to the dead. On the third day, he rose again. He ascended into heaven and is seated at the right hand of the Father. I he will come again to judge the living and the dead. I believe in the Holy Spirit, the Holy Catholic Church, the communion of the saints, the forgiveness of sins, the resurrection of the body, and the life everlasting. Amen. Lord be with you. And also with you. you. Let us pray. Our Father, who art in heaven, thou will be thy name, thy kingdom come, thy will be done, on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Be save your people, Lord, and bless your inheritance. Govern and uphold them in power and holiness. Day by day we bless you. We praise your name forever. Lord, keep us from all sin today. Have mercy on us, Lord, and have mercy. Lord, show us your loving mercy. We put our trust in you. And you, Lord, is our hope. We shall never hope in vain. Merciful God, through the work of Thomas Cranmer, you renewed the worship of your church by restoring the language of the people. And through his death, you revealed your power and human weakness. Grant that by your grace, we may always worship you in spirit and in truth. Through Jesus Christ, our only mediator and advocate, who lives and reigns with you in the Holy Spirit, one God, forever and ever. Amen. Heavenly Father, in you we live and move and have our being. We humbly pray you so to guide and govern us by your Holy Spirit, 
that in all the cares and occupations of our life, we may not forget you, but may remember that we are ever walking in your sight through Jesus Christ, our Lord. Amen. God, you've made of one blood all the peoples of the earth. You sent your blessed Son to preach peace to those who are far off and to those who are near. Grant that people everywhere may seek after you and find you, bring the nations into your fold, pour out your Spirit upon all flesh, and hasten the coming of your kingdom. In Jesus Christ, our Lord. Amen. Amen. Gracious Father, we pray for your church. Make her one holy, Catholic, and apostolic. Pray for a spirit of repentance and renewal, especially during this Lenten season. Guard and guide the Anglican communion in all truth. We pray especially today for the Diocese of Roya in Tanzania, the Diocese of West Tennessee, our Bishop Phoebe, Ann and Sharon, for Emmanuel Church, oh, Emmanuel Church in Ripley, vocations to holy orders and seminarians, especially for those in our diocese. For St. Andrews to grow in faith, hope, and love, consecrate us in prayer, in work, and in study. May your kingdom just emerge among us, grant that this parish be focused on glorifying you. For those who are sick and suffering, for the poor and needy, especially those who come to our door, those whom we are in fellowship with and outreach, and those who may serve. For our sick and suffering, for the healing light of Christ to fill us, and for your needs and concerns. merciful God, Father of all mercies, we, your unworthy servants, give you humble thanks for all your goodness and loving kindness to us and to all whom you have made. You make us through our creation, preservation, and all the blessings of this life. And above all, the gift of the love and the ministry of the world of our Lord Jesus Christ, for the means of grace, for the hope of glory. And we pray that you give such awareness of your mercies that with truly thankful hearts we may show forth your praise, not only with our lips, but in our lives, by giving up ourselves to your service, and by walking before you, holding the signs of all our ways. Through Jesus Christ our Lord, to whom with you and the Holy Spirit, the honor and glory be throughout all ages. Amen. Let's bless the Lord. Thanks be to God. May the God of hope fill us with all joy and peace in believing through the power of the Holy Spirit.